Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex from Fitment Industries and I'm here with... Brian from Custom Offsets. And Brian, we decided to ask him a couple questions because he is a car owner that I would say is a little bit against the grain Ooh. in the common scene. So I'm gonna start asking just a couple questions so you guys can get a little bit of information. Don't forget to drop a comment on what you think about this interview style and let us know. If you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe, blah, 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 FitmentInterest.com. Who are you and what do you drive? I am Brian from Custom Offsets and I drive a 99 Lexus GS300. Talk about the specifics of your Lexus GS300. <clears throat> uh, it sits on the ground, it <laughs> scrapes, <laughs> scrapes my flat shop, um, it's terrible to drive, looks awesome. So Rainy drives a slammed static GS300 yep. and those words could not be more true to your vehicle. It is slammed yep. all the way. Static, doesn't move. Got the wheels to yep. fit underneath Cambered. the over fenders. You got some cambers. So like you're like the static stance guy. Yeah. You give, I mean, the the guys remember Jasper, but your car gives Jasper's car. It, it gives it a good run for its money considering mine just frame bangs everywhere. Yeah, all over the place. And it's yep. a much larger vehicle. So the vehicle was on air. Your, your GS, when you first got it, was on air. And then yep. you switched to static. So what was like the legitimate reason that you did that? Uh, there's two reasons. So. My air ride was old and it was like log manifold style. Okay. So instead of having like the nice little like airlift V2 box, it was two half inch copper um, logs with old school uh, uh, manifold valves in it. So it was dated, uh, it, was, it was a very old setup. Sounds like you're repairing like a bathroom in a house or something. Yeah, like. pretty much. You had to turn the water off before we fix the shower yeah. head. So I had the, uh, the 11 switch paddle um, up front, which was, it was cool, but I mean, you never have the same height. It didn't hold an alignment. The bags were shot. So I decided to get rid of it because it also messed up all my fenders. My fenders were all chewed up. I'm sure you've seen it. Yeah. They were chewed up pretty good from just airing out so much. Um, so I ended up getting rid of that and then I switched to uh, my BC Extreme Drops and I have loved it ever since. So tell me a little bit more about like the suspension setup that you have so bc extreme drops what's your you know what's your camber what's all that set up as you have anything else underneath there yeah so a lot of people see my car and they think it's just bags and wheels but i have um a full battle version rear end which is like the rear lower control arms uh tow rods uh camber uh camber arms all that like i have all that in the rear so the rear is fully adjustable um and then it's six degrees camber in the rear and then the front is shortened spindles I have FIGS engineering, uh, uh, solid spherical mounts all around, and then uh, serial nine upper control arms, and right now it sits at negative eight degrees of camber in the front. Why make your life more difficult being static over air, right? I mean, like, that's the question that I'm assuming most people that would ask you is like, why make your life harder? Uh, it's not too bad. Like, the, the biggest issue I've had lately is just chasing whatever rear suspension problem I have is. Sure. Um, still haven't figured it out, but everyone's like, well, you can't make it into this driveway, that driveway. I've made it into every driveway anyone's <laughs> ever told me I couldn't. It's not always the prettiest, but more often than not, I trailer my car everywhere. Like outside of like a 30 mile radius of, of my shop, it gets trailered. Yeah, I mean, I would give you shit, but I trailer my shit everywhere too. So, I mean, we'll And yours is a lot more reliable. Yep, and uh, <laughs> definitely isn't on the ground at all. So, no. what other cars have you owned and what did you do to them? Uh, so I've Cars that I've like modified, modified. I had a 96 Honda Civic Coupe that I put on uh, function and form coilovers. I put that all the way down. Uh, I daily drove that for three years, uh, year round. And that was fun, like that car, no issues. Um, that was literally coilovers, wheels, build, done. <laughs> Loved it, never owned another Civic though. Really? No. Nope. So is, is the Lexus, would the Lexus be like your second big car? Have you had another big car that you've done stuff to? Uh, I had a 76 C10 back when I was in high school that had a, a built 400 small block, built TH300, uh, 350. Like I had a couple other odds and ends. Uh, I've had a lot of 240s that I've messed with. Never finished one of them. Yeah, well, I mean, they're 240s. The odds of them ever getting completed are zero. Only one ever ran, and by the time <laughs> I sold it, it didn't run. We bought, my friend and I, we bought a 240 back when we were in college thinking that we were going to be able to fix it up and get it running and that was... Yeah, the, uh, black hatch. Yeah, I mean it was... Yeah, I picked it up from your house. Yeah. <laughs> it was the biggest mistake <laughs> of my life. <laughs> yeah, picked it up from your house like five years ago. I remember that. So, I think that, and, and this is uh, something that's interesting, is 
when you talk to a lot of like OG static guys, because static has been around for a long time. It's not yep. something that's new, but it almost seems like they have a little bit of like a chip on their shoulder about air suspension. It's a pride thing. Why? Look at Junior's rollers compared to mine. Yeah, I mean, I knew you were <laughs> gonna bring that up. The like, rollers is the big one, like, and I, I, I've never gotten rollers in my car really, except for like my buddy Snapchat and a photo of my car going down the highway. Um, and like, I always thought that was cool, but like I've never had like friends with good cameras. Sure. So Nick Campanelli from Milwaukee took a photo of my car at Automotion back when it was on Air Ride. And I was like, that looks so bad. <laughs> like the wheels when they aired up went straight out, like four inches, super stretched, no camber. And then my, my fenders were like, <clears throat> it looked it terrible. Is, yeah, it's, it's not a pretty no. looking thing, unfortunately, especially when it's aired up to the sky. You see Junior's 12 and a half wides and it's- Yeah, it's, it's not good. It's rough. So what would be a dream car setup if you could buy anything you wanted? Fatica bagged. Whatever you wanted. If you could pick a brand new car and slam it on the ground or take an old car and do the same, what would you do? I've been heavy on the uh, Maserati Gran Turismo MC. Okay. Like, I, it's just one of those cars. That <laughs> really love it. That's a car bag though, just because it's worth so much and I don't yeah. want to mess it up. Sure. Plus car you want to go fast in, so. Yeah. So, does it ever bother you that you see a lot of people going air over static recently? Or does it, do you not really care that much? Uh, yes and no. I, I'd almost say it's kind of like a cop-out way. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the easy way out. Because mm -hmm. I mean, like, air ride's nice because I have a car in my shop right now that it airs out, but it has presets for when it airs out. It doesn't, like, smash the fenders into the tires and wheels because it doesn't fit. But it gets low and it looks good, but static, it's like you have no choice. It has to fit, you have to run it, you have no choice. It's almost like the margin for error is smaller. Yeah. And so it's more work because it's more work and it takes more to do that look, yep. it's more prideful. Yep. Because you're locking it in 100% of the time. Yep. And whereas just... people on air are locking it in when it's convenient. Yep, exactly. And like my car going on the highway, like you hit a bump, guarantee it's gonna either touch the fender or it's gonna touch the inner fender. That's awesome. What's, or... the, biggest, what's the biggest misconception people have about like static cars? Jasper will disagree, but he says his car rides terribly. Mine's not that bad. Well, you have a big Lexus. I have stiffer spring rates. That's true. And smaller tires. And um, that helps? Well, no, like, it, it arguably make it worse because I have less sidewall, and mine are stretched so far that my barrels touch the ground more often than not. Um, but I also have, like, the big, like, the super luxurious um, Lexus seats in it. Um, but like, like you said, my car does weigh a little bit more. It's a little bit longer. Um, but I do have stiffer spring rates and smaller tires. Um, it, it doesn't ride any different than it did on air ride. How many lips have you cracked because of how, ex not extreme your setup is, but like how aggressive your setup is considering the vehicle? And this is where I have like a hard time, like Austin Flowers has yeah. issues with lips on his bagged car. Um, Jasper eats lips and bumpers for some reason. I have eight, nothing. Really? Nope, I have the original lip that came on my car when I bought it. Um, there's no scuff marks on it, nothing. It's still, it's still holding true. Do you think that has to do with where you're getting the parts from and the fact that? Your, no, it's the fact that it's got banging. 13 bolts on it. The whole front lip's got a whole bunch of uh, bolts. So I mean, it, it holds on great. Yeah, there you go. So if you had like one thing that you'd want to tell the masses about like yourself, your Lexus, the static setup, like why you are the way that you are in the scene, because like, it's definitely more of like a prideful scene. Yeah. than I would say other versions of the car community are. Like, what would it be? Send it. Just fucking send it. You have Oops. no choice, just do it. <laughs> so that is our 10 questions for Rainy. I would say Static Stance Guy, but that's a video that we've already done. But we wanted to get a little bit of a different opinion because there are different like sub genres, I would say, like within the same Thing. So let us know in the comments what you guys think. Hopefully there was enough footage out there so you can see what Rainy's car looked like. If you guys have any questions, drop a comment below. Anything else you want to tell them about? I think that's it. All right, cool. Well, we'll see you later, guys. Check out FitmanIndustries.com for wheels, tires, suspension, all that good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. That was really fast. We'll see you later. Peace.